This is the Detroit Sports Podcast Network. John Macaroon here, Detroit Sports Podcast Network, here with TJ Duckett, Michigan Sports Hall of Fame inductee. How does that sound tonight? That sounds amazing. Absolutely, music. Keep saying it. Say it again. <laughs> Michigan Sports Hall of Fame inductee. How'd you feel when you heard the, when you first heard the news? Uh, it, it, I was shocked. Jordan Fields, we have a great relationship. So when he called me, I didn't think that was what he was calling me for. Um, and then to to know the players that are the people uh, that are in in the Hall of Fame as well, and to be considered side by side with them, I mean, it's it's a humbling experience. You know, this is a, a, ph- a phenomenal. Um, recognition but you know the game of football you got 11 on both sides and you know two three deep so this is definitely everyone's involved. John McEnroe here with Mick McCabe Michigan Sports Hall of Fame inductee. How does that sound? It sounds wrong. <laughs> it's like I think they, somebody made a mistake here. Uh, I hope nobody's gonna ask for a recount. Uh, sports writers aren't supposed to get in the Hall of Fame but here I am. When you first heard the news what went through your mind? <sighs> it's like really? Seriously, is this April Fools or something? Uh, it just didn't. It didn't. I'm, I got a call from my daughter. Says I have to get someone else on the line here, and I figured she was going to call Becca, or her four-year-old, to say mommy's going to have another baby. I thought that's what was coming. Instead, it wasn't. It was you made the Hall of Fame, and it was like, I mean, overwhelming. As a young journalist, what were your early impressions of the field, and what were your goals as a journalist? Well. I mean, I didn't have a lot of goals like, I want to cover the Pistons, I want to cover the Tigers. You know, I just like doing high school sports. I just wanted to write as many good stories as I can. I wanted to help the free press have a better section every single day. I mean, I wasn't, you know, uh, Joe Falls, I wasn't Mike Downey, I wasn't Mitch Album. I just wanted to be a real reliable guy who... Um, did his job and once in a while hit a three-run homer in the ninth to win it and uh, and that was it. If you're giving counsel to a young lad that's in college or starting to be a journalist, what counsel would you give them to tell a great story, especially as a writer? Take your ego out of it and let them tell the story and try not to get too fancy. Just, just get out of the way. Let them tell the story. Don't mess it up. Sometimes guys are trying to impress people with you know how many their big vocabulary and it's like we don't want to listen to this just let those kids talk and that's if maybe any i did anything i let them talk mick mccabe michigan sports hall of famer thanks for the time here with michigan sports hall of fame inductee bj armstrong how does that sound to you it's great and um you know i have such fond memories here and it's been terrific to grow up in the city of Detroit, and I say it with such pride because I, I, I love the city and it uh, means so much to me and my family. All of my families from here, those are great, you know, those are great times and great memories. And, and uh, we all go on and move on in life and move to different places, but there's no place like Detroit. And uh, I love it here, and um, you know, I just see all my family and all of the friends and some of the people that covered me when I was in high school and I went to high school with. and. So it's just a, it was a great time for me and my family, and, and I owe so much to the city for allowing me to live out, you know, live out my dream, a young kid from Detroit who was just trying to do the best he could. For those outside of the state of Michigan, what does it truly mean to be a Detroiter? You know what? When you don't grow up here, first of all, you got to be tough to grow up here. So this is a tough blue-collar place, and uh, you know, we can talk about Detroit, but no one else outside of Detroit can talk about it. So this is... Uh, this is this is my home and no matter where I'm at in the world I always consider this the place where everything began for me and uh, and I just love everything about it I'm a Detroit fan all around right whether it's Pistons or Tigers or Lions Red Wings you know this is what you do you grow up in Detroit you're the underdog and uh, just a, it's just a great place to, uh, you know, I'm just very, I'm very fortunate to have grown up here, but more importantly, just have so many wonderful friends and great memories growing up in the city. Now, to pay you a compliment, growing up watching basketball, you were one of the great shooters. You took it to the Pistons night in, night out when you played them. For those youngsters that are just coming up, obviously, you know, shooting the basketball, very key. What advice would you give them to be as good a shooter as you became? Well, you know, I, I, just something that I practiced. And, um, you know, I... You know, I played this game, and 
you know, got pretty good at it. But the most important thing is that I had great mentors, I had great coaches, great teachers, and my family and my aunts, my uncles, and mom, dad, they were all there for me. So, you know, I was a great, I was a, a great shooter because of all of the people that was around me. The city of Detroit forced me to do that, right? You know, playing up here and growing up in St. Cecilia, in the city here, and um, so I just like, you know, it's really the city of Detroit. I can't, I can't explain it. I wish I had the formula, but, you know, I, I was lucky to be in the right place at the right time. Congrats on your induction. Thank you very much.